In this video, let's talk about AutoGPT. What is it and then how do you use it? Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share this video so more people can see this. All right, the AutoGPT stands for Autonomous GPT. When you use GPT like ChatGPT, it gives you the answers, but it tells you what to do, but doesn't you have to still do it yourself. When you use AutoGPT, it does the thinking and also the execution and doing for you. And to give you a demo here, so one of the AutoGPTs uh, that you can use for free online, so it's called Agent GPT, and here's the URL, agentgpt.reworked.ai, and the spellings uh, are kind of different, so make sure, I'll leave the link below so you can get it. But let me show you how you can create an agent uh, and then uh, basically use it to get your uh, goal or get your tasks done. So here's the login screen. You can create an account. I'm signed into my account. I'm going to give it a name, so I'll just kind of call it Ali GPT. Uh, and then you basically give it a goal, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to say write me a twitter thread about five websites for video editing right so i'm gonna give it uh, that's the goal and then i'm gonna click on deploy agent and you'll notice the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna create some task thinking and here are different tasks that it's creating for itself so here are different tasks. Research the top websites for video editing. Makes sense. Generate a list of five websites that are highly recommended for video editing. Yes. And then it's going to compose a Twitter thread with details about each, web, uh, each website. And if you notice on this side, it's actually executing those tasks. So here's all the tasks. So that what I said in the beginning, it does the thinking and also the doing for you and this is just one example you can have assign it anything you can have it uh, build apps for you you can have it build websites for you write codes for you this is just a simple example that i want to use to uh, show you how powerful this thing is the the simple concept now look at this so it's thinking and then assigning itself tasks but then also it's executing so here's the execution on this research of the top website so it's, it did the research and it came up with the Adobe Premium Pro, Final Cut Pro, yes, DaVinci Resolve, that's uh, that's actually one of the best uh, video editing tools, which is also free, a lot of people use it. Blender, Lightworks, yes, yes. And then it's thinking the task is marked as complete. So as it's doing its tasks, it's marking it as complete. And for some of these tasks, you can imagine you have, it, it's, it's going to Google, it's going to the browser, to the internet, and gather, gathering the data, and then compiling everything for you. And then let's see. And then here's the last task. It's added. Uh, compose a Twitter thread. And then you'll notice at the end, it's thinking now. The task is complete. And then here is the your, your Twitter thread is going to be ready in just a few seconds. Here is your Twitter thread, about five websites. And then here you go. And by the way, once it's done, you can uh, save it if you have an account or you can just copy it. So if I copy it, I'm just going to let's say open a, a file text file or could be anything and then I'm gonna paste everything there and now you can easily see the task that it assigned and the, the execution it did right so let me scroll all the way down and then here is my Twitter thread so first Adobe Premium Pro then Final Cut Pro DaVinci Resolve Filmora hit film express those are actually great tools oh my god so this is what the auto GPT is and uh, if you want to try it, go to agentgpt.rework.ai. I'll leave the link below. But this is the future. The GPT is going to do the thinking and also the execution and doing for you. Before you go, make sure you like and share this video. Uh, and now I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.